and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray! Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray! Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray! 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 Oh. Okay now, all three! Oh. If you're happy and you know it, do all three! If you're happy and you know it, do all three! Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it! If you're happy and you know it, do all three! Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> well, it looks like we're all happy that Robert found his hat! <laughs> Everybody, what are you doing? Hi there, Baby We were just talking about Robert's hat. I got it from the zoo. See, it shows some of the animals that live there. Mm -hmm. All of those animals live in the same place? Oh, yes, they do, Baby Bop. A zoo is a special place where many animals live close to each other. Oh, boy, I want to see all of the animals. I want to go to the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> A quava. A quava? What does that mean, Stella? That means hello in a con. And that's the language they speak in Ghana, Africa. <laughs> I was just on my way there when I thought I heard someone mention a zoo. Oh, that was us, Stella. <laughs> well, that reminded me of a story. Would you like to hear it? Oh, sure. Yeah, sure. Please. Well, Stella, you always tell the best stories. Thank you, Barney. <laughs> All right, I'm going to need some help to tell this story. Now, who wants to be an animal in the zoo? Oh, that's I so like you. I can't wait to see some animals. <laughs> and so you will, baby Bob. Goody. <laughs> Once upon a time, There was a lion who was new at the zoo. He was lonely, but he didn't know how to make friends. Hi, my name is Lion. I'm new here at the zoo. I sure would like to make some friends. Would you like to be my friend? Oh, oh sure. Yes. Great. Let's play hopscotch. I'll go first. Oh, oh that's that's fun. Fun. I like this game. Mm, me too. Oh, he's really good too. Yeah. Sorry, I'm not finished. But when do I get a turn? Uh, you don't. If you take a turn, I'll just have to stand here and watch. That's not fun for me. Oh! The zebra left because she didn't want to just watch the lion play. She wanted to play, too. Where did zebra go? She left. I guess she didn't want to play. I have an idea. Instead of hopscotch, let's play with this ball. That's a good idea. I'm a good ball player. May I see it? Here you go. Oh, thank you. Wow, it has a good bounce. Excuse me, Lion. Can you bounce the ball to us so that we can all play? But I like bouncing it. Boy, aren't we having a great time? Rhino really wanted to play with the ball, but Lion wasn't sharing, so he decided to leave. What happened to the Rhino? He left. Boy, it sure is hard making friends here at this zoo, but I'm sure we can have a good time playing together. But we can't have fun if we don't take turns. That's what friends do, take turns. Really? Oh. Oh, I get it. The lion realized that the zebra and rhino left because he wasn't taking turns. I'm sorry, guys. I wasn't being very friendly before. Why don't we all play ball? 
Okay. Oh, okay. So, Lion learned an important lesson at the zoo. If you want to make friends, you have to be friendly. And taking turns is a good way to be friendly. This is fun. Yeah, I sure like this. Is. Me too. Yeah, this is fun. The end. Oh, hey. Hey. Oh, thanks for another great story, Stella. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. I'm glad the lion finally made some friends. So am I, because sharing with friends is always fun to do. <laughs> it is. <laughs> friends are special, so important. They make the world go round. We like helping one another in school or on the playground. Friends are there to help each other when one is feeling sad. Oh. Being friends is very special. Be a friend and you'll be glad. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I will. <laughs> <laughs> are special, so important, they make the world go round. We like helping one another in school or on the playground. Friends are there to help each other when one is feeling sad. Being friends is very special, be a friend and you'll be glad. Being friends is very special, be a friend and you'll be glad. It's almost time for me to go. But before I do, does anyone here like a mystery? Oh, oh, a mystery? Oh, I love a mystery. Oh, a mystery. What, what is a mystery? Uh, <laughs> well, a mystery is something you want to know but have to figure out. That's right. And I just happen to have a mystery for you to solve. You do? Sure, I, do. Oh, oh. I bought this present for a very dear friend of mine. Mm -hmm. And someone's going to be by a little later to pick it up. But I need you to tell her who it goes to. Um, sure. um Stella, who does it go to? <laughs> well, now, that's the mystery. <laughs> and to figure it out, all you have to do is read this card very carefully. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm off again to Africa. My grandma! Oh, my grandma! Well, let's get started on this mystery. Stella said we have to figure out who this present belongs to by reading the card. Hmm. Barney, will you read it, please? Oh, I'd be glad to. Thank you. Uh, um, to my favorite animal at the zoo. I can't believe how big you've grown. Why, I remember when you were a baby living in Africa. You were so cute, especially with those long, skinny legs. <laughs> and then you moved to the zoo. Now look at you. You're the tallest one there. Well, I hope you have a happy birthday. Here's a present just for you. Love, Stella. <laughs> That's a nice card. But we still don't know who the present is for. Hmm. Barney, can you read the beginning again, please? Oh, okay, Kim. Well, let's see. Uh, uh, to my favorite animal at the zoo. I can't believe how big you've grown. That means it must be for an animal that lives at the zoo. Oh, good job, Robert. And there are so many wonderful animals it could be. <laughs> what do we see at the zoo? What do we see at the zoo, zoo, zoo? What will it be when we're walking through? Well, will be lions and tiger cats. <laughs> and buildings full of birds and bats. <laughs> and maybe a baby kangaroo. That's what you see at the zoo. <laughs> What'll we see at the zoo? What'll we see at the zoo, zoo, zoo? What'll it be when we're walking through? Come with me to the zoo, zoo, zoo. Come with me to the zoo. <laughs> 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 
hippo and her baby cat. <laughs> the way they waddle makes me laugh. Waddle, waddle, waddle. The giraffe with a neck that grew and grew. That's what you see at the zoo. <laughs> What'll we see at the zoo? What'll we see at the zoo? Zoo, zoo. What will it be when we're walking through? Come with me to the zoo, zoo, zoo. Zoo, 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 zoo. zoo, zoo, zoo. zoo, zoo, zoo. The seals are swimming to and fro. <laughs> with penguins round and round they go. <laughs> the monkeys and chimps play peekaboo. That's what you see at the zoo. That's what you see at the zoo. What'll we see at the zoo? What'll we see at the zoo? Zoo, zoo. What will it be when we're walking through? Come with me to the zoo, zoo, zoo. Come with me to the zoo. Zoo, zoo, zoo. I wonder which animal at the zoo gets this present. Oh, I just remembered something. I promised my teacher I would decorate that bulletin board with pictures of zoo animals. Oh, sounds like fun. Oh, boy. Oh, can I help you, Kim? Sure, Baby Bot. Come on. Good. Yay. <laughs> Why don't the rest of us go into the classroom and see if we can figure out this mystery? <laughs> That's a great idea. Here we go. I just love a good mystery. <laughs> What do you think, Baby Bot? Oh, it looks really pretty, Kim. <laughs> Thanks. Do you like the animals we've chosen so far? Oh, yes. <laughs> I know what that animal is. It's a rhinoceros. <laughs> oh, that's right, Baby Bot. Now, do you know the name of this animal? That's an elephant. It has a long nose. <laughs> <laughs> right. Its nose is called a trunk. And an elephant sounds like this. <laughs> <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> Good job, Baby Bot. Hmm. Okay, can you guess the name of this animal? Oh, Kim, it's a tiger. That's my favorite animal. <laughs> really? How come? Well, a tiger is an animal who walks around like a great big beautiful cat. He is orange and black with lots of stripes. Now, what do you think of that? <laughs> from the card, please? We need to figure out who gets this present. Oh, okay. But let's remember what we've learned so far. Oh, thanks. We've learned that the present goes to an animal at the zoo. Good. Now let's see what else we can learn. <clears throat> I can't believe how big you've grown. I remember when you were just a baby living in Africa. Hey, that's a good clue. The animal comes from Africa but how are we going to find out which animals at the zoo come from Africa? Well, why don't we find out with... Uh, oh. The Adventure Screen! <laughs> a zoo is a place where animals from many different places come together and live. The animals come from all over the world. Here are some animals that come from Africa. <laughs> A zebra comes from Africa. Its black and white stripes are so pretty. That's a hippopotamus. I learned in school that a hippo loves the water and is an excellent swimmer. That's right. Hippos spend most of their days in water. <laughs> and those are called gazelles. They live in big groups and can run very fast. They're pretty. Maybe Stella's present goes to a gazelle. Hmm. That's a giraffe. Uh -huh. They're the ones with long 
long necks. Mm, that's right. Their long necks help them reach the leaves at the very tip top of trees. Wow, a lot of cool animals come from Africa. That's right, Robert. And a zoo is a great place to see them. <laughs> so, do you think you know which animal Stella's present goes to? Well, I think we're getting closer. <laughs> yeah, right. Now we know that the present goes to an animal at the zoo and comes from Africa. Would you read us another clue, please, Barney? Oh, I'd be happy to, Danny. <laughs> Thanks. Let's see. Um, you were so cute, especially with those long, skinny legs. Hmm. <laughs> We've learned about a lot of animals at the zoo, but which ones have long, skinny legs? I know. Let's look at some books with pictures of zoo animals. Oh, good idea, Robert. Oh, I just love to look at books. <laughs> <laughs> books are fun, books are great. Let's sit down with a book today. Books are fun, books are great. Is it book time yet? Oh, I just can't wait to read a book. <laughs> Do you know why I love to read a book? Why I get so happy every time I take a look? Cause books can take me anywhere that I want to go. Books help my imagination grow. Ooh, 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 ooh. Books are fun, books are great. Let's sit down with a book today. Books are fun, books are great. Is it book time yet? Oh, I just can't wait to read a book. Books are fun to read. I love the pictures, too. I love to snuggle up and read with somebody like you. All my favorite stories and many more to learn. Good things come with every page I turn. That's right! Books are fun. Books are great. Let's sit down with a book today. Books are fun. Books are great. Is it book time yet? That's right. <laughs> Kim, Baby Bob, we almost figured out. Oh, look. Oh, wow. Oh, goody, they like it, Kim. <laughs> you both did a wonderful job. Thanks, Barney. It was hard deciding which animals to put on the bulletin board. There are so many to choose from. Uh-huh, and they wouldn't all fit. Oh, that's a lot of animals. <laughs> Barney, where do they find all the animals to put in the zoo? Lots of different places, like in the forests, the mountains, or in the jungles. <laughs> <laughs> We're going on a jungle adventure to see what we can see. There's a lion and a tiger and a great big monkey swinging on the branch of a tree. <laughs> it looks like a chimpanzee. <laughs> oh, here in the jungle you can hear the lions roar. Rhinoceros and tigers and so much more Hear the snakes hissing in the grass below See the silly monkeys putting on a show The jungle is the place to go We're going on a jungle adventure To see what we can see There's a great big elephant taking a bath Getting clean as he can be. Wow! I hope he doesn't step on me. Ah! Oh, here in the jungle, you can hear the lions roar. Roar! Ah! Rhinoceros and tigers and so much more. Hear the snakes who seen in the grass below. See the silly monkeys putting on a show. <laughs> the jungle is the place to go. The jungle is the place to go. <laughs> now that we've finished our adventure, let's solve the mystery and find out who gets this present. Yeah. Oh boy, 
<laughs> okay, so far we know that the animal lives in the zoo, comes from Africa, and has long, skinny legs. Oh, but there's one more clue. <laughs> Let's see what it is. Goody. <laughs> Then you move to the zoo. Now look at you. You're the tallest one there. Hmm, the tallest one there. Mm -hmm. That means it's the tallest animal at the zoo. And what's the tallest animal at the zoo? A giraffe! <laughs> Very good, everyone. <laughs> I think we've solved the mystery. Yay! <laughs> and I think we should celebrate. <laughs> ta ra ra boom -dee. For Barney. Hello, I'm Barney. Oh, hi, I'm Zelda, the zookeeper. Oh, nice to meet you. I came to pick up a present from Stella. Oh, well, here it is. Oh. It's for one of the animals at the zoo. It's for the giraffe. <laughs> oh, well, it must be for Doris the giraffe. Do you know all the animals at the zoo? Well, most of them. It's a part of my job. A zookeeper has to know the animals really well so that we can take good care of them. I feed them, I keep them safe and healthy, and I even give some of the animals a bath. Mm -hmm. Oh, I bet the elephant's bathtub is really, really, really big. Oh. <laughs> well, I better give this present to Doris. Oh, and by the way, you're all invited to come to the zoo anytime to visit with the animals and me. We'd love to have you. Hey, I'll show you. you. Oh, and please tell Doris we all wish her a happy birthday. I'll make sure she gets the message. Oh, great. So long, and thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. I better go too, Barney. I want to tell BJ about all the animals we can see at the zoo. Oh, okay, baby Bob. <laughs> Bye, everybody. So long. Bye. See you soon. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> This sure has been a fun day. Oh, it's been fun for me, too, because I spent the day with you. <laughs> I love you. You love me. We're a happy family with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you? I wonder what present Stella gave to Doris the giraffe. Hmm. Well, I guess one day we'll have to solve that mystery by going to the zoo to visit her. <laughs> yeah. That would be fun. Hey, let's go look at Kim's pictures again. Great. Yeah. <laughs> so long, everybody. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye. See you soon. I like each to all my friends. I'm glad you came to play. Our fun and learning never end. Here's what we did today. We learned that a zoo is a place where you can see how many different kinds of animals move, eat, and even play. Using clues, we solved Stella's animal mystery when we found out that the present was for a giraffe named Doris. <laughs> Zelda the zookeeper invited us to visit her and the animals at the zoo anytime. I know that you'll have fun at the zoo. And remember, I love you. <laughs> to learn more about Barney and Friends, visit PBS online at pbskids.org.